like what hey girl what's up welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Faye and if you are not new here welcome back so as you can see by the title today's video is going to be a review of the new Fenty foundation stick as soon as I saw that they were coming out with the foundation stick you guys already know I had to go and pick it up and test it out for you guys so I went on down to my local Sephora and grabbed the shade number 16 so for today's video I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine just substituting the foundation for the foundation stick and we're going to be wearing it throughout the day to see how it holds up on my oily skin so if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see how this foundation held up on my oily skin then let's go so first things first is primer and lately I have been doing a combination of these two so the first one that I have is from one size this is the secure the sweat on till dawn primer and then the second one that I have is from Milk Makeup. This one is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. So the first one is just gonna help with oil control and sweat if you sweat a lot. The second one is gonna smooth and blur out the pores and also is gonna help to mattify the skin. So I'm gonna go in with this one first and while I do that, I'm gonna give you guys some of the details for this new foundation that we're gonna be trying today. So like I mentioned in the intro, we're gonna be trying out the Ease Drop Stick Blur and Smooth Tint Stick Foundation. That is a very long name, <laughs> but that is what it is called. I got the shade number 16. I actually went in the store and matched um, myself in store because initially the site actually recommended shade number 15, but when I went in the store and swatched it, shade number 16 was actually a better fit for me. So this comes in 25 different shades it claims to be long wearing medium coverage it says it can actually be light or medium coverage hydrating and obviously a cream formula so it says it's a light coverage long wearing tint stick with creamy smooth texture that instantly blurs while melting into the skin for a natural finish so I'm actually really excited to try this out because I have been really into more medium coverage and those of you guys that have been watching my videos for a while you guys know I typically am all about the full coverage, but in this heat, in this Atlanta heat, I have been very much completely fine with medium coverage foundation and just something that's gonna be lightweight on the skin. And I've also been into foundations that are like quick, easy, like just throw it on and go, doesn't require a whole lot of just extra to apply it to the face. So a stick foundation obviously is perfect for that because you literally just roll it up and apply it to the skin. A cool thing about this foundation stick is that it does continue twisting all the way up so that you can get every little bit of product out of the packaging. But be careful testing that out because as you guys will see, I was twisting it up to show you how all of the product comes all the way to the top and it definitely fell out of the packaging. So yeah, I definitely appreciate packaging that minimizes waste, but just proceed with caution. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the skin and I'm just gonna just go right in with it and blend it out this is definitely very very creamy so if you are somebody that is a beginner with makeup just right off the bat I can feel how creamy and easily this applied to the skin this will probably be a very easy product for you to work with it doesn't seem like it will dry down very quickly and like I said it's super creamy and just feels like it's probably gonna blend out really easily so I'm just gonna go ahead and press this into the skin and then I'll show you guys what one layer is looking like. Okay, so this is the skin after one layer. I definitely feel like it just disappeared into my skin. Like it's giving very much unclockable, undetectable. But I do want to kind of see how buildable it is since it did say that it's light or medium coverage. I'm just gonna add a little bit more on my cheek area and see if we can build that up a little bit and just add a little bit of extra coverage. Okay, do y'all see the coverage? That built up beautifully and it literally looks like my skin. Like if I wanted to, I could just set this, throw on a brow, maybe do a little concealer under my eye for like a supernatural everyday look and be on my way. And it's giving very much Skin. So I love, or at least so far, I'm loving. I really hope that this wears nicely throughout the day because I could easily see this being a go-to for 
a hot little minute. So let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the face. Like I said, I'm just gonna use the products that I've been using. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with this one from Fenty. And I'm also gonna mix in a little bit of my Born This Way concealer as well to highlight and then blend all of that out. Okay, so now that I have that blended out, I'm gonna go in with my setting powder from One Size. I have been loving this. Super lightweight on the skin. Gives a really nice blur to the pores if you have large pores and will really help to set and lock your makeup in place. Okay, so I know I look crazy right now, but trust the process. While this sits on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows and then I'll be right back. Okay, brows are on. They're definitely giving sisters not twins today, but we're gonna keep it pushing. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this powder off because I think it's been sitting on my face longer, long enough. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with this powder from One Size. This is the Turn Up The Base Foundation Powder. I have mine in the shade Medium Dark 6. So previously, I actually had the shade Dark 1, and I took it back because it was a little bit too dark. So I'm hoping that this one is going to be a better oh yeah this one is way 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 better so if you're my foundation twin i would recommend medium dark six and if you're just interested in trying out this powder in general i would recommend whatever shade you think you are go down one shade and it should be a decent match for you okay the skin is really skinning today like She's really skinning today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with bronzer. I'm gonna be using this one from MAC. This is the Sun, I always have to look at this to know what it's called, Sunstruck Matte Bronzer. And I have mine in Deep Golden. I've been loving this bronzer, super easy to use. It doesn't have a lot of like kick up that comes up when you swirl your brush into it. And it just applies to the face really easily. Doesn't have a ton of fallout, just a really nice, bronzer also just as like a random side note i noticed that i don't have a ton of like drugstore products that i go to on a regular basis um as like part of my everyday makeup routine not as much as i used to so if you guys have any drugstore recommendations or like products that you guys have been loving or would want for me to try out please leave them down below in the comments because i feel like I've kind of been sleeping on the drugstore lately and I know they have a lot of like really good products but I just feel like the majority of like the stuff that has have been like my staples lately I don't really have outside of the elf um, power grip primer I don't really have anything um, drugstore in my everyday routine so if you guys have any recommendations or anything that you guys would like for me to try out please feel free to leave them in the comments below because I will definitely be checking out like Target and my local Ulta to see what the drugstore is giving these days. And then also too, I'm just pinching my brush together and adding that bronzer into my crease just to give my lids a little bit of color. Just a little trick to kind of help you look a little bit more put together without having to pull out an eyeshadow palette. And then I'm also gonna take a little pencil brush and just run a little bit of that same bronzer right underneath my lower lash line. Okay, bronzer is on. For blush today, I'm gonna be going in to my Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance Palette. And today, I think I'm gonna dip into this fancy pants shade. It's kind of like a corally pink kind of shade. I think I'm gonna mix these two at the bottom. So this pinky one and then this like corally peachy toned one. And we're gonna go ahead and pop that on the cheeks and blend it back into the bronzer. And I'm also gonna pinch the brush together again and just add a little bit of that onto the lid just to tie everything together. For highlighter today, I'm gonna go in with this one from LYS. It's in the shade Aim High and it's just a really pretty rose gold highlighter shade. Okay, I also put the smallest little bit of that highlight just in the inner corner. So this next step obviously is optional, but I'm gonna pop on a lash. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and then I'll come back to go ahead and finish up the face. Okay, so lashes are on. I'm wearing these from Kiss Lashes. These are in the style Pompadour, I believe. I picked these up from Target or Ulta. I don't remember, but I'll try to link them for you guys down below. 
I will be honest, they were a little bit difficult to apply because the band is super thin. So if you are a beginner with lashes, I'm not sure if these will be the best ones for you just because they were a little bit hard to work with. But I think with practice, it'll get much easier and they do look super natural on the eyes because the band is so thin. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish up this face. I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup. I'm going to start off with this setting spray from Urban Decay. This is their all nighter setting spray with vitamin C. I like to use this one to kind of just like melt everything together, even though the skin is really giving. Um, I'm still going to use this just to kind of hydrate the face and melt everything all together. Okay. And then while my face is still damp, I'm going to go in with my makeup forever powder, matte powder, and I'm just going to go right over top of my inner corner right here. Bring that down. Same thing on the other side. This is a great tip to clean up your eyeshadow on the outer edge as well as your nose contour and underneath this contour as well. And then to blend all that together, I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush, no additional product, and just kind of tap over everything. I'm also gonna set my face with this setting spray. This is from One Size. This is their mattifying waterproof setting spray. And then last but not least for lips, I'm gonna go in with this lip combo, which has literally had me in a chokehold. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips, apply the Maybelline Vinyl Ink on top in the shade Charmed. And then on top of that, I'm gonna pop a little bit of the NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Salted Caramel Shake. All right, you guys, so this is the finished face. This is how everything is looking. Honestly, like I've been saying throughout this entire video, the face is literally serving, like the face is eating. I wasn't really sure what to expect with this foundation stick, but so far I have been pleasantly surprised. I don't know that I have anything in my collection that leaves my face looking this skin-like, natural, like it literally, like this is giving my face, but flawless. <laughs> so I'm very much here for it. I didn't really have a ton of expectations for this foundation stick because again, I just really wasn't sure what to expect, but this right here, so far, obviously I haven't been wearing it throughout the day, so we'll check back in and I'll give you my final thoughts. But so far, I am liking this much more than the um, Ease Drop Liquid. This, she's, she's giving, she's giving. The skin, I mean, it literally feels like I have nothing on my face. Like it feels like I have nothing on my face and it just looks flawless. So, so far, I'm very impressed. Hoping that this wears well throughout the day because like I said, this, will easily be my go-to if it actually lasts on my oily skin for like the next couple of hours that I'm gonna be wearing it. So currently, it is 4.15. I actually started this process at three o'clock. So I would say I actually had the foundation on my face around like 3.30ish. So we'll go with 3.30. I'm gonna wear this throughout the day. Um, I don't really have a ton going on today. I have a few errands that I'm gonna be running, but for the most part, I'm just gonna be doing, you know, basic everyday stuff. Um, so I will check back in with you guys. I will try to wear this for at least six to eight hours, somewhere in that time frame. But of course, I'll give you guys my check-in a little bit later on today. So I'm very excited. I'm trying not to get my hopes up, but I'm very excited with my initial first impression. And I'll check back in with you guys in a few hours to give you an update. Hey girl, so I am back as promised. It is 11 p.m. as you can see on the dot. So I have been wearing this face now for seven hours and I did not touch up at all. After I got off camera with you guys earlier, I basically was just sitting downstairs editing for several hours. I edited basically the clips that I filmed prior to this one so that this video can be ready to go up tomorrow. Also edited a couple of shorts and just was getting some content done. And then I did go out and go to a couple of grocery stores to get some things for dinner. So I did actually go out into the elements a little bit today. But for the most part, I was just sitting on the couch editing and yeah. So this is how we are looking. Like I said, this is after seven hours of wear. Obviously, you guys can see 
I am very much oily, okay? <laughs> that is no surprise. If you've been following my channel, you know I am an oily girl through and through. And my T-zone and really my whole face in general is giving very much oily. However, this is not surprising to me. I am an oily girl. I know my skin is gonna get oily. What really makes the difference for me is how the face is gonna look after I actually touch up. Because in a real life situation, around like the four hour mark, four or five hour mark, I am gonna touch up my face while I'm out. I'm not gonna just be going on about my day. Usually I'm gonna have some kind of powder or something on me to touch up my face throughout the day. So that is what I'm gonna do with you guys now. So I just have a Kleenex here that I'm going to use to just kind of tap on my face and see. And then I also am going to reset with powder as well just to see if this is a product that I could touch up while I'm out and continue to wear. I did notice my face kind of starts to get oily around, um, I think it was around like seven, seven or eight. So that would have been around like the four to five hour mark, which I think is still pretty decent wear, honestly. Um, and again, like I said, that would be about the time that I would go ahead and touch up if I needed the skin to, you know, last any longer than that. Okay, so this is how the skin is looking just after dabbing off with a tissue. Don't mind my lashes, child. They are holding on for dear life. I told y'all the struggle earlier with these lashes, so just mind your business, okay? <laughs> but we're focused on the skin. This is how the skin is looking, honestly, I think it looks really good for a skin tint. I still feel like my face still looks very natural. Nothing has shifted. Um, I do see that it has settled some around my nose, which that happens. Um, that is something that I could also probably fix when I am applying the product as well, just not applying as much in that area. Um, but that's really the only place on my face that I am seeing. It is kind of breaking up a little bit right here too. Um, but that may be on me from touching my face. But yeah, outside of that, I mean the skin is still looking good. So I am gonna set, even though I'm about to wash my face, but I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter um, Waterproof Setting Powder. Usually I have this or the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powders. One of the two of those is typically what I carry with me when I'm out and about. So I'm just gonna take my brush and just kind of go over. And obviously this is not gonna be perfect because um, I'm about to go to bed, so I'm not super concerned, but I just want to give you guys um, like a realistic idea of if you are out and about and you have oily skin and you need to kind of reset your face, what you can expect. Okay, so after setting the face with powder, this is what we're looking like. So again, outside of it settling in my nose or around my nose a little bit, which honestly, after setting my face, you can't even tell, like you really can't tell around my nose. The only area that kind of stands out is right here in this area. But again, I think that is from me. I had some mascara that kind of like bled down here and I was like rubbing right in that area. So I think that is what caused this because it's not on the other side. So you can see on this side, it looks perfectly fine, but we might have a new foundation for the girls. And I think this would hit on a whole nother level in the cooler months, especially if you live in Atlanta like me or in the South or anywhere where the weather is super humid, then you know, you already, you already know the vibes. If you know, you know. So when it starts to cool off, this will probably be perfection. But even right now, again, like I said, I had this on all day. I did go out and run some errands. I did get very, very oily, but after blotting, resetting, I could easily go another several hours if I needed to with this face. So this product gets a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm very, very excited that I was able to get my hands on this. 
All the links for all the products that I use in this video will be listed and linked for you guys down below. Let me know in the comments if you guys have picked this up, if you're planning to pick it up, if you have oily skin and you've been on the fence, if this video helped you out, leave all that information for me down below in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys very soon in my next one.